Guys, sit down. I'm way too tired for this. Holy crap, guys. This shark is whooping my butt. Alright, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. We're at out here. Back by the past of Pensacola, Florida. And we're trying to target some big sharks. We caught a couple last episode. If you haven't seen this, if you haven't seen the video, I will leave a link below. It was the one I posted last week. Now we are out here. Got four big spinning rods, a 14K, Daiwa, 8500 um, pin uh, slammer four, I believe. Yeah, pin slammer four, and a Daiwa Certate uh, 10K. So these are the reels we're using. Big heavy reels with lots of drag, heavy line. And I will give you a rundown on all the gear we're using leader wise. But right now, we're gonna get these baits out, get them soaking, so we can catch a big shark. <laughs> all right, go ahead and break this down for you guys. The weights I am using today for today's trip are oh, these bad boys right here. One is being a tear from a tackle weight, and of course, frisky fin spunting weights. These these weights held just perfectly. Uh, last time we were out here, and we had a heavy current. So these are the two weights I'll be using. I like using these both weights when I'm surf fishing. Frisky fins are great. These hold great. So do these. All right, guys, we're going to bait up this hook. We got a big old chunk of uh, a whiting on right now. I'm going to put this weight on. Like so. Make sure my drag is set. Well, now, when you cast these, these big baits out, you want to make sure your drag's tight. I'm going to make the first cast out. Oh. There we go. And we don't have to go that far. Like I said, it's very deep here, so... That was not that far at all. I like to call that a short boy. All right, guys, bait number two that is going out is a good old fresh bonita head. When you're targeting sharks off the beach, you cannot go wrong with bonita. It's one of the best baits you can have. Just gonna get a nice little hook through the eye right here. You're just, just fine. my hands off tighten that drag this one will be able to get out further because it's a shorter leader there we go real tight real fishing guys Fish on guys, look at that, look at that. Yeah, that's a big one, that's a big one. Ugh. God. Oh. oh my gosh. What is this? I'm glad he hit the big reel. Oh. This is a monster, guys. Oh, head shake. Big head shake, guys. This thing is an absolute tank. Oh, oh God, it feels like a hammer. It feels just like a hammer. Oh, my groin. Holy crap, guys. I wish I had my big camera set up. I didn't even have a big camera set up yet. I am putting the heat to this fish. I am putting the heat to this fish right now. Oh. Oh. He did not like that. Oh my God. Nope, it's a shark. Not sure what kind of shark it is. Looks like a bull shark.
I'll give my back a break. Because it's hurting. Guys, sit down. I'm way too tired for this. <sighs> Holy crap, guys. This shark is whooping my butt. He's right here. That was a big bull shark. I can't leave the shot by myself. Oh, this is a sandbar. That was bullshit. It's a big old sandbar. Big monster sandbar, guys. I'm gonna let you go. Don't worry. Hooks out. Let's get you going. There she goes. Oh my god. Whew, guys. That was a monster shark, man. That was really hard to land by yourself. I honestly do not recommend that. Because that was really tough. But, it got it done. Got a safe release. Lucky that shark wasn't hooked that bad. And that barb was pinched, so it was easy to get it out. Whew, now I'm going to sit down. Relax for a second. Let's get back to fishing. What's going on guys? I just wanted to sit down and talk to you. Um, I had some really good news, big news for the channel. And it's something I'm really super pumped about. Uh, there's been a lot of work behind the scenes to make this happen. But I finally decided to quit my job after 12 years of work to pursue this career in uh, social media and content creator for fishing. Um, so I'm gonna be making videos full time now. So I'm gonna be able to focus most of my time making videos, edit videos, and creating content for you guys. Um, finally got into a space with me and my wife and my two little girls financially stable enough to make this jump which I'm super blessed to make this happen um, I couldn't do it without my wife she's my number one supporter I couldn't do it without her and I greatly appreciate it so I just wanted to let you guys know the situation I'm coming through I wanted to get a little more personal with you guys but I'm super pumped about this and I hope you guys are too that means more videos are going to come out more videos on YouTube per week Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and all that. And I'm also gonna be able to travel more and do a lot more crazy fishing trips. So I'm excited for this journey, man. And uh, I just wanna thank ev each and every one of you for supporting me, you know, the subscribers, the comments, all the likes. I couldn't do it without you guys. And it's just a great feeling that I can pursue a dream of fishing because how much I enjoy fishing, editing the videos, it's, it's my hobby, man. I love it. And to get to do it for a living is a blessing. And I never thought I'd reach this moment in my life. And it's great. And I sometimes get teary-eyed just thinking about it. But I appreciate everybody supporting me and they can support me on this journey. And we made it. I'm about to make fishing content full time now, guys. So let's hope one of these rods go off. Let's get some videos out. Yo!